Cyclists will be more protected, but traffic could be more congested. In a sweeping plan announced today by Boston Mayor Marty Walsh, the city of Boston will install so-called cycle tracks along a part of Commonwealth Avenue where a Boston University graduate student was killed more than two years ago. BUTV reporter Katherine huntley Bockers is live at Boston City Hall where there was just a news conference. Good news for bikers and drivers of Commonwealth Avenue. A little over an hour ago here at Boston City Hall, Marty Walsh announced innovative plans to make Commonwealth Avenue safer for bikers. This morning, plans of new barricaded bike lanes were announced for the area of Commonwealth Avenue spanning from Packard's Corner to the BU Bridge to improve biker safety. The barricades will be a lane of parked cars, which will physically separate bikers and moving traffic. Comav is a true multimodal street. It's full, it's, it's, it's full of people, trains, on buses, walking, and bicyclists. It's also one of our highest crash areas for cyclists in the city. That's why we've decided to implement a protective bike lane on Commonwealth Avenue, on the BU Bridge to Packard's Corner. Okay, I hate biking down Comav. And why that? It's just it's just, it's completely dangerous. I just feel like there's too many, like it's heavy traffic and the bike lane is not protected. Like obviously there's a colored strip for the bike lane, but that's not gonna stop anyone from crossing it. <laughs> the proposed stretch of lanes are at a particularly dangerous part of Comab, where Christopher Weigel, a Boston University photojournalism student, died biking two years ago at the corner of St. Paul Street. Now the intended plan is uh, slated to cause the loss of 73 parking spaces around that area, which will for sure cause angst around people who use the area frequently. For BUTV 10, this is Katherine Huntley-Bockers.